Hello everyone, it's Katja here and today we're going for what I call Hollywood Glam. We got here by mistake, I wasn't planning to make this spectacular Hollywood glam piece. I just wanted a little bit of gold, but it ended up being Hollywood glam, so who cares how we got here? As long as we got here, it doesn't matter how we got here, right? I started with this beautiful vintage buffet and I wanted to go bold. I went with Florence as my color because as I said, I wanted bold. I wanted to go bold. I came to my studio and I was like, do I go safe and neutral or do I go bold and wild? And I went with bold and wild because that's what I love. I love this color because it's so bold, bright, but it's so beautiful and it definitely makes a statement pieces. So I think it was a good choice. He went on super smooth and my lovely baby boy blue loved it so much he wanted to help paint. You go get it. What? What? Janji, what are you doing? You have green on your ear now. Isn't he lovely? So when I got the green on, which took me two uh, coats for solid coverage, I realized it was a little too bold for this piece. It's like, you're beautiful, but you need to calm down. Like, calm down. To tone it down, I used a graphite wash. A wash is a watered down paint that we then remove just like we would a stain. This wash not only toned down the green, but it gave this piece so much dimension and character, and I knew I was on the right path. Once my wash was completely dry, I returned back to my piece, but to be honest, I had such a rough day. Like, not a good day, bad day, rough. I don't like that day. So I did what I always do when I'm stressed out and started adding gold everywhere. Like, give me that gold. Gold is my relief of stress, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I went with gold leaf and for that we need to add gilding size. Basically, it's the glue for the leaf. I went with gold leaf because I wanted my gold to be very strong and vibrant and that is something only gold leaf can give me. Uh, gilding wax is great, but it just doesn't give me that strong gold, like uh, shine, cover your eyes how shiny it is. I added gold everywhere, gold and more gold. Originally, I just wanted to add a little bit of gold leaf around the edges, just a touch here and there, but then I got carried away. I kept adding gold and more gold and more gold.
Like I said, I was stressed out and I got carried away with the gold. That's what I do. I wanted the side of the drawers to look beautiful when you pull it out. So for that, I decided to add some transfers, some floral, beautiful transfers. This is such an easy way to add a little extra beauty to your pieces. It's like an extra surprise when you open the doors and you see that beautiful uh, flowers in there, or it can be anything. It doesn't have to be flowers, but I wanted flowers today, so I did flowers. Then I took a step back and I look at this piece and I decided that I have to tone down the gold because I toned down the green color. I had to match it so you can have balance. So I decided to tone down the gold as well. It's like, green and gold bolt you i love you but you need to calm down today or i was just calming myself down i don't know what i was doing but i was calming everything down <laughs> <laughs> to calm down the gold i use anislon black wax in order to add black wax on your gold leaf we have to apply clear wax first I definitely don't suggest you applying a black wax directly onto the gold leaf because I tried and it looked dirty and uneven. So I definitely don't recommend that. Always clear wax before black wax. This was a perfect way to add even more character to this piece, more dimension and more depth. And I really loved where we were going with this. I keep adding the black wax on gold and then I added some around the drawers to add that character as well. And when I look at this piece, I was in love. I think this piece is simply gorgeous, elegant, gorgeous. It's a statement piece. It's still bold, but it's not that kind of bold where you're like, oh my God, you're so bright. I need to cover my eyes. This is like, hey, look at me. I'm beautiful and classy and sophisticated and I am Hollywood glam. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time with a new project and more ideas. Bye guys.